This video is sponsored by Wing Wing Technology, your ultimate fly sim hardware solution. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today's valued viewer request is from the Mr. Rusty. This has actually been requested loads of times and I've been putting it off because I couldn't find a way of doing it. But we think we've sort of ish found a way of doing it. So hey Cap, just saw the following video and thought it would be interesting. Would love to hear your and RC's thoughts on this and possibly a reenactment, although I don't expect it to be implemented in DCS yet. Uh, love you guys, stay healthy, love you too. Okay RC, in we go. Okay, so, sorry, I'm old, I'm slow, I need to sit and think. So it's redacted a load of stuff here. We're at 17,000 ASL, we're at nearly 500 knots, we're at 0.7G, so we're slightly unloaded. Historical G, we think, is there, we're in simulation mode. Uh, he's got a radar lock, I think that's all we need to know. Okay, so let's go. So it's just flat and level, nothing of interest. Now he's really yanked back on the stick, he's got 5G here at 400, uh, sorry, 500 CAS, the historical max of 5.7. Pull, 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 So he's pulling full aft stick there at 500 knots, bleeding the speed down now, obviously. 8.1G. Is that him gone? Is that him gone? Is the stick's unloaded? He's 8.4 he pulled, so yeah. It's 8.4 sure he pulled, and the stick's on, and you see he's unloaded now, so he's just let go right. of the stick, flopped down. That's a pretty puny, no, I don't want to, I couldn't handle any G. I've pulled 5G in real life, and it nearly slapped my neck off, so I'm not boasting. But, isn't a pilot supposed to be able to do more than like 8.4 for like a second? Which is well, what he if he did. didn't breathe right. Didn't do the, the, the thingy. Right, All then right. he would like pass out. Yeah, well, he cocked up then, didn't he? Just saying. Still recover. Still recover. Still recover. So he sees him now diving down at 700 knots nearly. Uh, look, at 8,000 feet, he's through the safe deck at you know, 10,000, I imagine they put it at. And now the G cast is going to come in, right? Which pulls the stick back. Probably really violently. Watch this. Watch this G now. Uh, so it's probably knocked him out again because it's going back up to 9G now, look. So it's gone to the airframe max, which is a really clever piece of kit, right, to do that. Because it knew he was about to crash, because he's down at 4,000 right. now. He was a dead man. If that didn't do it, he was a dead man. Right? Because there's, you know, he was getting faster and faster and faster. He had his afterburner on. That was, you know, there was zero chance. So, this auto G-cast thing then, is it only the F-16 has it? Or do other planes have it? It's something I don't know anything about. Well, 737 Max had it. It wasn't working very well. Well, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. Yeah, the uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what else has it. I'm. I'll bet the newest planes have it. Like the fifth gens and, and stuff. Yeah. Well, the valued viewers, let us know. It's something I don't really know anything about. We don't have it in DCS as far as I'm aware. We're not getting it. Obviously, an amazing uh, piece of kit to detect that he's about to crash. I mean, it can detect that he's going straight down. He's going 700 knots. He's got. He's not put any stick input, as you can see, because the plane was unloaded. It just, at that point, takes control. The only, you know what, the only problem with that is if you chase a bandit down through the clouds and you're you're kind of in control but unloaded, it's going to think you're passed out and it's yeah, going to pull you up. Have, if, you're, if it's detecting inputs in the stick, I'll bet it won't take over. No, but that's it. You'll be unloaded. You're, you'll be, if you're chasing uh, a bandit yeah. through the cloud with no G, you'll have your hand on the stick, but you won't be putting any load into it. But you'll be trying to go down on purpose. Uh, yeah, maybe there's and it'll, the, uh, it'll just pull you up. It'll just pull you up and go, eh, and you'll die because the baddie will come. Maybe there's down. an override for it. I bet there's no like a paddle or something to say, yeah, yeah. I'm alive. I'm alive. Ooh, conscious. Uh, that's that. I'm sure you've all seen that. We need to do it in DCS, and the reason I've been putting this off is because this is incredibly hard. Well, impossible to do in DCS because we don't have auto G cast. We're going to make our own auto G cast. So I thought. Best thing is, RC is in a two-seater plane in the pilot seat where both the pilot and the rear, or the pilot and the rear guy, can have control, like uh, C101 and L39. Okay, RC does a G-lock like this, uh, completely blacks out. Then what I would do is I would join the plane at that point. So I join the plane after the G-lock has happened. So he'll still be G-locked for 10 seconds. I'll come in. I'll be not G-locked, and I'll take over the plane. And I would be the auto G-cast, right? But what problem did we find with that, RC? None of the slower planes can really G-lock. We can't get any of the slower planes to G-lock. So we thought, okay, we'll have a Tomcat. Well, the problem with the Tomcat is the rear guy in the back doesn't have a control stick to control the plane. So this is really problematic. Uh, so the best, absolute best way we can find of doing this is, and we haven't tried this yet, 
Our season of Tomcat goes really fast. He does this a lot anyway. He's about, he passes out because he can't handle the G because he's getting a bit old. Uh -huh. And um, he's about to crash. Yeah, then I join the plane after the G lock and I eject him. Plane dies, but I eject RC to safety. We think that might work. How do you feel about that, RC? Well, try to see how it works. Stand by. Okay, RC, are you ready to G lock the heck out of yourself? Ready. Right, go as fast as you can and then do a lateral turn. Get speed up here. Do you reckon you can do more than 8.4 G like that guy? Instantaneous? Without breaking the wings? Yeah. I don't know, let's see. Only an instantaneous G will snap the wings off. It'd be hard to snap the wings off. Okay, this. I am out. Okay, oh, you blew up! <laughs> this is a problem we're gonna have today, isn't it? <laughs> right. Oh, no, 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 you're alive, you're alive! You're still in, you're still in. I'm coming in. It was just the camera went weird, the camera went, let me in, let me in, let me in! Quick, RC! Try it. I'm coming okay. in. Oh, I'm going to save you, RC. I'm going to save you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. Are we out? Did it wake yep. you up? Yep. Oh, my parachute never came out. What the? <laughs> my parachute didn't come out. <laughs> why did my parachute? Oh, here I am. I might did. If you're wondering why that went weird, us uh, value view. Yeah, I see you. If you're wondering why everything's gone weird on my screen, it's because the sun. It decided to come out for the first time in England for six months and it's messed up my track AI, hence it's going all weird. And we'll leave that in because it was ridiculous. But, RC, can I confirm that I just saved you from a genuine G-lock? You did. Aren't I a nice man? Are we agreed that you owe me now? No, I, I didn't agree to that. Bye!